Alrighty. So we got some marigolds in this part. And then I actually planted some in my green stock. I had a row around uh, the third tier from the top. You having fun? Yeah. Um, I actually picked up some sweet banana peppers that I'm going to pop in here yet. I'm going to do two plants here. And then I might just uh, fill in some of my pots yet with some of the other peppers that I got. Um, just so we have a lot of banana peppers too so that I can preserve some. I stuck a marigold in that bed too. I'm going to wait actually because the radishes are probably going to be ready to come out here in the next couple days. And yeah. Yeah. Are we enjoying this sunshine? Yes, we are. <laughs> hi, cutie. So hi. Yeah. Uh. Okay. We're going to do some cucumbers. I'm going to show you the varieties. And some muskmelon and some watermelon. Alrighty. So back here in this last corner, I'm going to do watermelon and muskmelon. So the ones that I have is Hale's Best Jumbo Melon Cantaloupe. We call them muskmelon. I guess they're called cantaloupia. Yeah. And then I have the Crimson Sweet Watermelon that I'm going to put in there as well. Then my cucumbers. I've got homemade pickles. The mouse melon or cucumelon. And the straight eight cucumber. So... Let me see here. This one is the quickest. I'm gonna see though which one's the big most vigorous. This one is four to five feet compact vines. This one is 10 feet of vine. And this one is, this packet sews up to 22 feet of trellised cucumbers okay so I think I'm gonna do the cucumelon on the actual arbor and have it go up one side probably on that side because that gets the most sun and then I'm gonna do these two varieties on this trellis right here since this one's a more compact one, I might do this one on this side and then the straight eight on the other side. Or vice versa. But I'm just going to plant one plant here, one plant there, let it go up. Same thing with the other side. Kind of wish I wouldn't have done peas on both sides of the, the trellis on that side and on this side just because then I could have put the cucumbers on that and then I could have actually put flowers on the arbor but hey there's always next year that's the beauty of gardening there's something that you see that you're like oh I wish I would have done it that way or I wish I would have done it wish I would have done it a little bit differently there's always next year don't fret there's always next year ah, look at these radishes though Wow, looking good. Probably gonna wait to harvest some of those big ones till tomorrow morning when it's nice and cool again. Let those little ones grow on. Some of these peas are ready to grab on here. That's cool. Oh, that one already did. Good job, little guy. Yeah, you guys gotta grab on here. There you go, not that side. <laughs> I want him to crawl up this side. Weeds. Alrighty. So, I planted my two banana peppers, which you can actually see the difference. Um, the color. They're a lot darker green than mine are, which these are just your standard um, slicer peppers and stuff like that. But this one's looking pretty good. They should be loving their life. It's really, really warm. <laughs> now, let's get some cucumbers planted. Shall we? We shall. I'm going to do the homemade pickles on this side. 
Let's see here. Half an inch, two seeds every 12 inches. When three leaves thin to one plant every 12 inches. So I'm going to do two plants. I really need to carry a knife with me to open these seed packets. If you don't know what cucumber seeds look like, Okay, we're gonna go over here, do the straight eight on the other side. Same thing, 12 inches apart. So I'm gonna do could probably get away with three plants, but we're not gonna not gonna do that. I'm just going to do two. And that was the straight eight on that side. Now I need to go into the garage and grab some more potting soil for these pots up front where I'm going to do the other cucumber because. There's not enough soil in those to do that. I'm trying to grab this little guy on here. I want it to grab around there. Come on, little guy, you can do it. How are these doing? Oh, these have a lot. Just got to keep watching them because I do not want them to attach to the tomato trellis on the other side. Because supposedly, tomatoes don't love to be beside peas, so, <laughs> whoops, did do that. Didn't read that quick enough to not plant them over here. Alrighty, I'm going to go grab some potting soil real quick. My lettuce came up. Green stalk. Everything's looking pretty good in there. Oh, man. It went to uh, that summertime heat right away. <laughs> I feel like we had a blink of spring and that's about it. But hey, that's all right. I am here for it. Here for the summertime. I'm going to add my nasturtium to this pot where that cucumelon is going to go in. These are called Alaska nasturtium. Really pretty variegated leaves. I'm excited for these. So I think I'm just going to put the two plants in here, space them out on either side so they can kind of drape down. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in yet, because I think my daughter's awake. I'm sorry, wanting to join the party. Let's see here. Put one. Ooh, those are dry. Real dry. Situational. out. There you go. And same with the other one. 
These only need to be nine inches apart, so I'm gonna let them fill in this pot on this side. That would be a pretty little addition. I did put nasturtium seeds in the green stock, but those haven't come up yet, so so I'm waiting on those come up. Water them in real quick. And then go say hi to my baby. Yeah. That a wrap for right now. Well, thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Just some leisurely seed planting in this beautiful weather. I'm trying to enjoy every bit of it, but got to be careful and keep Viviana in the shade a little bit more than I am. <laughs> because that sweet baby skin can't handle it. Alrighty, well, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.